safety rules in the uh, schools what safety me measures you have to take in the school how you how to behave yourself on the road and all we learn now we are going to learn about the first aid what is meant by first aid first aid is nothing what is first aid first aid is the first medical help given to an injured person before already we learned about the remedial measures what you have to take to avoid an accident even in the school home and on the road now we are going to discuss about the first aid what is our topic first, first aid. aid what is first aid in the uh, question itself answer first the beginning first aid which medical help is giving to an injured person before the doctor arrives it is called first aid what is first aid first aid is first medical help given to an injured person before a doctor arrives that is called first aid that is first aid see how we are suppose one person fall down and got a cut in his leg what we will do we will wash his cuts or his own with water good water and we can use some lotion and all then we will tie the wound we should tie the wound for uh, should not get the more bleeding and all so then we have to take the uh, patient to a doctor so what what we did for the injured person in the beginning is called first aid is it clear children yes okay very for minor cuts if someone gets minor cut first wash the cut with water just now i told then apply some antiseptic lotion over it if there is bleeding from the cut try to stop it by tying the bandage on the cut dirt and flies should not be allowed to sit on the wounds as they may cause infection send for a doctor immediately so if it is the minor cuts what we can do we can wash with the plenty of water and with anti septic lotions then after we have to bandage it should not get the more uh, bleeding and also flies and other things should not be seen on the wounds and that, uh, that, uh, that also will get if the wound is opened so then we have to send immediately to the doctor if a person failed failed means what is meant by failed getting giddiness or something then what we should do if a person get failed what we have to do that is the next thing first about the cut we discuss next about fail a person fail make him lie down with his head at the level lower than the body we have to how if the one person got giddiness giddiness means tala giddiness and then what then what we have to do we have to make the person to lay down freely the head should be little down the head should be little down then automatically what will happen the blood circulation will go to the head so it may control little bit and allow fresh air around the person loosen his clothes and sprinkle cold water on his forehead let the person rest uh, quietly send for a doctor then then after we have to send for the doctor so what we have to do we have to make the person to lay down very freely keep the head little down i told i told to you keep the uh, head down means don't keep the neck up and head down little down the blood circulation automatically will be increased and loose his dress and 
not only that, allow the fresh air and sprinkle, sprinkle some cool water on his forehead. Sprinkle, I said, I did not say pour the water. You have to sprinkle the water, little water. We have to sprinkle and call the doctor. That is the uh, first aid you have to do for the faint patient. Is it clear? Yes. Bite and by an insect. Insect bites or stings are painful. If bited by an insect like a, a bee or wasps, apply paste of baking soda and cold cream on the affected part to give relief. Put some ice on the affected part. Say, suppose bee or wasps, anything, bite means that string itself, string means uh, that uh, uh, this. Uh, uh, insects have that uh, strings, no? so that may cause uh, painful, that may cause pain to us. Then what we have to do? We have to do the first, can apply the baking soda paste. Baking soda is available in our home. So that paste we can apply or cold cream we can apply in the affected part. Then we will get little relief we will uh, we can get the little relief so you can do that if it is the condition is serious you can take the patient to the hospital next for burns bah, burning so painful if a burn is minor wash the burnt area with cold running water what we have to do we have to we have to wash the burn area with cool water. With the cold water. Then, next what have to do? Then apply some antiseptic cream on the affected area. On the affected area, what we have to use? Some antiseptic uh, cream. It is good to be prepared for an emergency and to know how to give first aid. However, it is better to remember and follow safety rules to avoid accident. Always remember, prevention is better than cure. See children, we have to remember that prevention is better than cure. Don't unnecessarily, don't run uh, towards each other. Don't be hurry. We must be go slow. Here, time is so valuable. Even though you have to take proper care. Suppose you are riding the bicycle or uh, doing something, something. If you we are taking proper care, maybe you would have to lose 10 minutes time. If you get one accident, if you get an accident, maybe one month together you have to spend for it, you have to answer for it or maybe your life will be spoiled. So we have to be very Careful. Prevention is better than no, cure. cure. So prevent ourselves, yourself and all. Thank you.